safety precautions um, and then get straight into it. I'm going to show you how to cut a piece of 10 mil mild steel and basically how to turn it down. And first things first, but safety, these things are quite dangerous. Oxygen bottom, not flammable, however, acetylene bottom, highly flammable. That one then, that went bang, we wouldn't be standing here today. Um, PPE, you're going to need a set of gloves. You're going to need a shade fire and also a flint. So first things first, you turn on the bottles. Make sure there's no kinks in the line, nice and straight. We turn on our oxygen first, and then we turn on our acetylene second, and we just double check. Yep, set to 100 kPa. Then we turn on our oxygen next, and we have a look at our oxygen. We set that to roughly about 180 to 200 kPa of 10 mil mold steel. All right. So double again, just make sure there's no lines, leads, uh, kinks in the line. And put on your protective equipment. The oxyacetylene bottle and the way I'm going to cut today is very handy around the house. Just for things like uh, if you are into cars and frames and stuff like that there, basically just cutting mild steel. The reason why I use oxy a lot more than a grinder is grinders are noisy, they're dusty and Consumable wise, you go through quite a few discs if you're to cut something of 10 mil. However, the oxy bottle, it might be quite a bit to set up, but once you've actually got it set up, it's good to go for a long time. So, for starters, we turn on the oxygen right on. Secondly, we turn on our acetylene, the fuel gas, only a little bit, and we light it up. We turn on our acetylene just a tad more. We don't want that black smoke, that black sooty smoke, however, we don't want it to be too high as well. So we turn it down a little bit. We turn our oxygen, the main thing you're looking for here is that neutral flame throughout the middle. We want to get rid of that, just like that. And then when we press on the oxygen, we can just see it coming through again. We're going to just get rid of it. So when you're looking at it like that, we press it, so it's the same. There's two lines running through the same. That's when you know the tip is very clean. When you start off, you can always run it across a couple of times like that, just to preheat the material. And when you're ready to cut, you'll sit it on the edge, you'll wait for it to glow nice and red. Once it glows nice and red, you'll take it off, press your oxygen down, and then move into cutting. The process is going to be thermal, so it's going to be quite hot. We can now remove our PPE. Remove all the gas. Turn off your back oxygen lever again. We're going to knock off the bottles at their main valves. Nice and tight. We're going to also release the pressure in the regulators all the way back. The oxygen and the acetylene. Once they're backed off, we can also turn on the oxygen and you'll hear that pressure be relieved from the bottle and also with the acetylene. Those bottles now and lines are free from gas. So that's that.